And this is Radio Caroline on 199 Meters, your all-day music station, Britain's first commercial radio station. My name's Tom Lodge, your disc jockey for the next hour. Illegal transmission? Illegal reception, certainly. Millions tune in, but few realize they can be fined up to 50 pounds for listening. Now the stations themselves are threatened by the long arm of international law. This week, we've checked on how they're doing. In the Thames, Radio Invicta and Radio City. Off the East Coast, Radio London and Caroline South. Off the Isle of Man, Caroline North, close to the shore-based Manx Radio, Britain's only legal commercial station. The Carolines can each be heard over a 100-mile radius. They claim a peak audience of 39 million, a weekly income of 18,000 pounds. The European agreement to ban radio ships should be ready this month, but it could be June before the British Parliament ratifies any action against Caroline and her companions. Aboard Caroline South this week, life went on as usual. Are they pirates? We challenge the dock skipper, Captain Persun. We are no pirates. We are lawful sailors and working all right. And I don't, I am not worried about an unlawful act from the countries in Europe and from Britain, because that will be unlawful as far as, far as I'm concerned. You look upon yourself as a, a legal sailor then? Yes, of course we are. We are working for a free enterprise in a free world. This free enterprise is run from the respectability of Mayfair. In Caroline's headquarters, a staff of 60 working for men who think that 39 million listeners can't be wrong. But couldn't they pull out now, satisfied with their profits? The answer from the man who first started Caroline, Ronan O'Reilly. Well, it's not, that is not the position. Um, the profits are not quick and they're not easy in, in, in this operation. Um, uh, the return on capital would, will, will take um, a number of years. It's, it's a, a good investment, though, Radio Carmen. You said that you're not going to take the Postmaster General's broadside without a fight. Now, what can you do with the British government and half of Europe against you? Well, in fact, um, although the legislation will be open for signature in the Council of Europe, it is not certain that all members will sign um, uh, this, this means that if Britain and maybe one or two others sign it, there are still other European countries open to do business with, and many international companies, many other countries, as you know, would be, would be available to do business with. Can you think of some countries who may not sign it, who you'd go to support for? Well, I'd prefer not to. I'd prefer to wait and see.